What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Fred the Great. What's up, great gang? And I'm back at you with another video. Today is gonna be a story time about how I got to where I'm at. I hear this question all the time, so now I'm gonna answer it for you. All right? Look, right here is the new merch that just dropped. Link gonna be in the description. Go copy you one available in all colors. So, for the rest of the video, let's get it. Fresh boys on the track. It's for the great, the great, the great, gang, gang, gang. So this is how it all started. Everybody know my best friend Bree Chief. She found me on you now when I was trending one day, and she randomly shouted me out one day. So it got me to about seven thousand to ten thousand followers at this moment. I was already at three K when she first followed me, which I know really isn't nothing. After this, I just started telling her about all my talents and she like hey you should start doing something one day i just recorded a video of me dancing to ayo and tayo's song the first one they made was like reverse like this i believe i was posted that got some good views and ended up getting posted on ayo's page so therefore everything started going from there um then they dropped the rolex video i did that also got dropped on their page so i just started getting followed up the followers and the whole music thing just came back to me and you know, I just started pushing my rap skills. I seen this little challenge and it was called uh, the So Gone Challenge. That was the first one I ever did. So I took it and I'm like, hey, I'm about to go ahead and drop some bars on this thing. So gone over. All right, let me stop. But I did a challenge to that, uh, did some good numbers. And then um, Chandler Alexis, for an example, she started out of nowhere just like, quoted my lyrics and put it on her Twitter page. So uh, that got posted on her page and then me and her started you now and so I started getting people from her just like rapping and all that other stuff while we were live on uh, you now together. But after that, I just started doing rap challenges and um, I did one to when I see you, when I see you challenge by Fantasia. I did that and you know, I'm just sitting at home and chilling and you know, I woke up one day and I got a message from, you know, some of my supporters. So I check it out and they say, hey, I see you all over Facebook. So I go check on Facebook and it, I had a video and it had over 500,000 views. Mm. 500,000 views. And I was like, damn, that's me. Like, it's my video. But the bad part is, they didn't give me any credit. So I had to send a dude a DM and I'm like, hey, you know, can you please put me uh, on, on a video? This is mine, like I need my credit. Can you guys do that for me? And you know, it took him about a day to get back to me. He was like, yeah, man, I'm sorry. I don't want you to feel like I'm still in your content. And I was like, yeah, because if not, I'm gonna have to report you, bro. Cause I'm not rocking like that. That's me, I'm getting my credit. I'm Fred the motherfucking great, all right? So I go on there. Later on that day, my name's on it. So followers just start rolling in. They just start rolling in. And then I just started dropping skits and, you know, rapping some more. And, you know, I started getting these big pages to follow me. And uh, me and Bree were making videos that's going viral. So we just kept on getting followers from there. Like when I say it was going crazy, I was gaining about two to 3,000 followers a week. This sound crazy, but I'm literally telling the truth, a week. And it just started growing like so crazy, just started spazzing and all of that. So Bree helped me out with this business account. So then I just started being able to see how many followers and how many likes and impressions and all that stuff I'm getting. And I just started getting posted on these rap pages and um, you know, popular dance trends, lean and dab and uh hit that hit that for the ground hey hit that for the ground started getting posted on all of those and it just started going up from there so all of these followers just came out of the literally blue sky and me just posting my talent for the people who are asking how do you do it there's no way to do it instagram is all about being yourself being originated uh like just get in the groove of what's trending rap challenges Drop one, dance challenge, drop one. If you got talent, use it, cause you never know what can happen. So for you guys to be like, oh, Freddie, you think you famous and all this other stuff? No, I'm literally doing what I love to do and I started getting recognized for it. 
I started dropping music. I started dropping even more rap challenges, even more skits, coming out of my comfort zone. It's all about going out of your element and show what you have to bring to the table. If you got talent, use it. Now, some people don't want to work for it. I'm not going to say that, you know, I never had help. I did have help, but did I ever ask for it? I never got asked to get put on any pages. It just randomly happened. You know what I mean? So for the people who want to be big, you just can't get big automatically. You have to put in work. You have to hustle. You have to grind. You have to have dedication. There's been times where I wanted to give up and I just keep going there's people in my ear like freddie drop this do this do that do this ask for ideas ideas is another thing that's gonna help you man like this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for my supporters the people watching me uh tagging people hashtags used to be a big thing but they don't really work anymore i've seen a lot of people go crazy with views without even putting one lick of any tag or their name on it, any of that. You just post it on their page and that's it. But tag people, get noticed, put yourself out there. Even if you need to, you know, sponsor your stuff, advertise it, pay, pay the little $5 to boost your post and get 4,000 people to look at it. It's all about putting yourself out there. You had to spend money to make money. So it's a lot of things that go into all of this and just put in the effort. If you don't do that, you can't get anywhere. So that's just how it all happened, man. There was no uh, sneakiness to it. There's no undercover stuff. Literally just put out your talent and just do what you love to do. Tag people, share with your friends, have them support you. This is how I made it so far. And I appreciate everybody. And I mean everybody who's supported me from day one and pushed me to do what I've been doing. Especially the great gang, especially the Breach Chief gang. All of those people who pushed me, all of those people who pushed me, man. Thank you so much, y'all. And that is honestly how it all happened. But like I said, go cop some merch. Keep supporting your boy. We got more things coming, more things on the way. Late Nights is on iTunes and Spotify. Make sure y'all go cop that. It's a great song. I promise you, you will not be disappointed. So make sure you go cop that, man. It's your boy, Fred the Great, and I'm out to get it. I remember all them late nights. Argue and turn into play fights. They don't really know.